Is inflation hitting the managed services market? That's our question today on the MSP Zone. You are entering the MSP Zone, a podcast for the managed services community, covering news, analysis, and interviews from around the globe. Elevate your MSP game by staying in the MSP Zone. And now, your host, Charles Weaver. Welcome back. For those of you in the United States, hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Certainly was good to have a little bit of break last week, but we're back at it. And what better topic after a long break than inflation? Um, I'm, not, I'm not joking. Um, th- this is a really interesting topic uh, because... It was the first time that I've received a call, and and it was a call from an MSP, and it was just a it was a it was a different topic. Uh, he called for something else. I forgot what the reason was, but during the call, during the conversation, this MSP business owner says something basically such as, "Hey, have you talked to anybody else, any other MSPs about inflation?" And I said, well, you know, what, what about inflation? You know, well, he said, is it impacting MSPs? Is it, is it, is it having an impact on the MSPs? And it got me thinking that, wow, nobody's talking about this. Is is that true that no one's talking about this? If it's true, why isn't anyone talking about this? Are people not talking about it because it's not happening? And then it, and and then it just started, you know, a, a cascade of, of questions that 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 popped up, and so uh, I thought this is a great topic. Got to talk about it. If it's something that everybody knows about, it's a, everybody's aware of, but they're not talking about it. Th- those are things that I've seen a lot in this industry, um, where it's it's just the thing that nobody talks about, but everybody recognizes or admits that it's there. And that, that, I'm not saying that that's necessarily the case here, but um, let, let this be, you know, a starting point for this conversation because I think it is important and I think that there are several very important subtopics that every MSP ought to be aware of. Um, and so let's just dive right in, right? First of all, yes, it is undeniable. Certainly if you are in the U.S., I do don't have a, I would say that it, the inflation right now in globally is, it's not a global incident, right? So different countries have different monetary uh, policies at play. So this is not, de- this is not a global MSP issue. This is certainly more of a probably North American, but certainly more of a United States issue. So I, let, let me state that for the record. Now, if you happen to be in a country or in a, or in a geographic region where there is inflation, then this will be right up your alley. But here in the United States, we certainly are seeing um, price inflation. Um, it's undeniable. I, I, nobody disputes that it's happening. Um, and that along with other economic factors, which certainly are, some of them are global. For example, uh, supply chain. Supply chain is a global issue. It does not have, uh, supply chain is not a U.S. only issue. It's a, it's a global issue. Everywhere you are, there are supply chain problems as a result of, among other things, the pandemic. Um, so th- those are things that uh, accumulate, uh, have a cumulative effect, shall we say, on MSPs and on their customers. But Back, back to inflation, um, is it having an impact on the MSP market? And if it, if it is, where would it be having an impact? Like in what way would it manifest itself? And, for, and, the, and the final question is why, why is no one talking about it? So I'm going to try and address it in, in those areas um, or in, in that order. Um, Prices are going up, undeniable. 
I mean, you see it at the at the uh, gas pump. You see it at the uh, in clothes, uh, food. Food is definitely uh, spiked in, in price here in the U.S. Um, and other things are are having uh, are are being impacted by inflation. They're just costing more now. I'm not going to get into an economic lesson on why that's happening. That to me is is somewhat immaterial for this conversation. Let's just assume and agree that it is happening. We are experiencing, at least in the United States, price inflation. To the next question, well, how is that, is that, and how is that impacting the MSPs? So, the, 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 the economist answer would be inflation in the managed services market would manifest itself probably in a few ways, but certainly in price increases. The price of delivering managed services would go higher. And I don't know if we have seen an across-the-board price increase of late because inflation is somewhat of a second half of 2021 this is not something that we saw directly you know in in the very beginning part of 2021 but certainly in the latter half of 2021 yes it's here it's it's pronounced um entering into this year i do recall a number of msps who were just of the general opinion that, yeah, prices should go up because the cost of delivering cybersecurity was also going up. Now, that is not related specifically to inflation, but related to the increase in attacks, cyber attacks specifically, and just the the ability to defend against those types of attacks and the preventative measures that MSPs need to take both on their internal organizations as well as for their customers have have just been on the rise. So I wouldn't call that in any way an inflationary impact. That was just a, a supply and demand. That was the, the, the attacks are increasing. The need to defend oneself against cyber threats is, is very real. And there is a limited a quite limited supply of qualified MSPs capable of doing the work. It's pr- pretty straightforward economic evaluation. Um, but we, we, we didn't see necessarily just a, a, a rapid across-the-board price increase from MSPs in the early part of 2021. Um, we're actually doing a study right now, a quick survey on that right now. Uh, I'll try to include a link to that survey so that if you guys want to uh, weigh in, uh, we would certainly um, love your contribution and uh, would help us immensely in, in making more sense of this topic. But I, I certainly didn't, from, from my conversations with MSPs in the first part of the year, did not have any real sense that everyone was across the board just increasing their prices. Um, I did hear MSPs talk about the increase of cost to them. So it was having an impact. Again, I wouldn't call that an inflationary. At the beginning part of the year, it would not have been an inflationary cause, in my opinion. It would have been a just a, the sharp increase in demand, demand-side um, price increases. Um but now, second half of the year, I would say that the likelihood, if it hasn't started now, that the likelihood of seeing managed services prices go up, so that's managed services costs to the customer, not just to the MSP, but to the, the consumer of managed services, uh, might expect a price increase in 2022. Now, if, if you are in a long-term contract, and there's a lot of MSPs out there who still have one, two, three, five-year contracts even for managed services, um, you, you might have your pricing locked in for, for a set duration. Um, that certainly could be one explanation for why we haven't seen uh, price inflationary price increases hitting the MSP market yet. And I stress yet. Um, 
after those contract terms end and there's a renewal period, yeah, I, I, I certainly could anticipate a, a price in, adjustment due in part to inflation. Um, there is a, as we've talked about for probably five plus years now, there is a well-known cyber security and general IT labor shortage. It's just, it, we've been facing it for forever. MSPs are hard pressed to find technical talent. And while we may have some relief in that area in, in, the, in the near future, I hope, to date, it, it has not been something that the MSPs um, have been able to solve. And as a result, they have been dealing with, you know, trying to retain staff, you know, at, at um, reasonable rates uh, of, of compensation and trying to do more with those same people because growth in managed services, as we all know, has been just going through the roof, right? Spending on outsourced IT managed services has been going through the roof uh, steadily for the last decade or more. Um, the added pressures of cybersecurity, data privacy, data security are fueling that surge in demand for managed services. And so that's another area that has, has just pushed the accelerator pedal down all the way to the floor, and MSPs are facing the, the dilemma of how do I get that growth, and yet I can't, I can't scale up on just a, with just a, a, you know, bodies, right? I don't have enough bodies to do that. So they're, they're having to do other things. They're having to, uh, and we've talked about this before, they're having to automate, they're having to really refine their process. I mean, that before you even automate, you need to have a, a well, well-oiled, well-performing, scalable managed services process. If you don't have that, nothing you throw at it is going to work. I mean, it's just going to be money dumped down the drain. So you, you, you have to start with a good process. It has to be scalable. It has to be really, really scalable. And once you have that, then you can throw money at investing in automation, in technology, in software, stuff like that. That would add additional incremental efficiency to your managed services process. And the, the third one would be certainly MSPs are leveraging their, their third-party partners, you know, other MSPs, uh, other you know, vendors, who have technologies and just other bodies that they can leverage to fill in the gaps, the, the human resources gaps, that is, uh, that, that they need so desperately in order to continue their acceleration and their growth. So that's what's been happening so far. And maybe it's just a, you know, it's a matter of time before this inflationary pressure meets the MSP market. And the MSPs start to increase their prices. Now, I'll say this. I think that if the MSPs can more effectively manage the low-hanging fruit, as I will call it, the, the, the easier-to-manage devices and objects that they are presented with in a managed services relationship, then they certainly can you know, maybe not raise prices, but maybe not drop prices either, that, but they can maintain the status quo for some of the more easy to manage devices and objects that they, that they have. But I think at some point there has to be a reconciliation and probably, yes, a price increase just due to the threats that the MSPs protect against on behalf of their, their customers. And I think that that is certainly a realistic area for a, a, a price adjustment, whether or not it is directly fueled by inflation, I, I think that's really, I think it's almost secondary. Because I think that there's ample support for the argument that MSPs ought to be increasing their prices, forget inflation, just because of the cybersecurity threats that they're facing. I mean, my gosh, they're, they're, those 
Those threats are unrelenting. The attacks are increasing. And the MSPs are the only ones out there defending against it. So they don't even need to go to the argument of it's inflation, I need to raise your prices. I think they could say, you, you need to be protected, customer, and I'm the only one capable of doing it for you. So I need to increase the prices so that you can be safe, your supply chain vendors can be safe, your customers can be safe. And I think that those are very real arguments. Now, if, if you're an MSP and you're, just, you're getting hit by inflation, and, and I don't know really where those would manifest themselves. I mean, yeah, you could have some inflationary costs on labor. Um, it, you know, rent probably is locked in, right? So they're not going to see huge prices there. Th- th- there's, there's probably not a lot of discretionary fluctuating prices. Like, you know, MSPs don't buy commodities to deliver their services, right? They're not buying corn, right? They're not buying groceries. They're not buying uh, fuel, yeah. yeah, typically. Um, they're not buying a lot of those goods and services that do get hit by inflation, except for labor. Labor is the one of the biggest costs, right? The, the technology... Yeah, I mean, I, the, the SaaS uh, services that MSPs uh, rely on heavily might have, you know, annual cost of cost of living increases, but I certainly wouldn't think that there's a ton of inflationary pressure on a software as a service product. So maybe this is not as big of an issue as we have thought. Maybe that's a reason why the MSPs have not discussed inflation as a cause of concern because it's not really impacting them. I mean, no, as private consumers, they go home, they have to you know, put food on the table, they have to buy, you know, pay for heating uh, during winter, they have to buy clothes, they have to, you know, do all the things as private citizens, and those things can have an impact on them. But as an, as an entity, as a business entity, I don't know. What do you guys think? I think there certainly could be it, it could be a factor, but I I I I need more data, I think is is the way I come down on this. I, I need more data. I could use some perspective from the MSPs out there on whether or not as a business, not not you individually, but as a business, are you seeing inflation having an impact or you know, are you seeing no impact on price increases or as, as I have uh, theorized, a, a price increase coming from the MSPs is more likely to come from the cybersecurity threats that they face and their customers face less than the inflationary pressures that are hitting other market sec- sectors. That's a, it's, a, it's an interesting question. I, I hope that you can see why it, it piqued my interest. Um, Again, we'll, we'll post the link to that survey so that all of you can take a moment. It's a real short survey, I think, under 10 questions. So it'll take you, you know, less than a minute. Um, but it would be really valuable data to kind of get a, a sense of where, where you stand on this issue. Um, but I, I suspect in 2022, we're going to start to see some price increases from MSPs across the board. Again, whether or not Inflation's the cause of it. That that remains to be seen, but I think we're headed for a price increase that has long been overdue in our market. We've had a couple of tough years globally speaking, and I think 2022 is going to be a a year where the MSPs step even further out and take on a global leadership role that will firmly position them. As, as guardians of the IT universe, which is what they've been doing for the last 20 years. Anyway, those are my thoughts. Send us your comments. Love to hear them. Until next time. 
Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed today's episode, please give us a like. Make sure you are subscribed to the podcast so you will get notified when future episodes are released. We will see you next time in the MSP Zone.